association set up Innovative Farmers in 2012 because there was really a vacuum of support for farmers who had things they wanted to test on farm, but there was no way that they could be supported. So we set the programme up to pioneer this way of working. It just didn't happen before. People might have tried a new variety or something like that, but structured multiple variety trials on farms, we would never have believed would be the case. The learning is so much more rapid and so much more effective. Ten years later now, the approach has been adopted much more broadly and the programme is now really seen as a best practice exemplar of how to support farmer-led research. I know for a fact that His Royal Highness Prince Wales is very supportive of the Innovative Farmers Initiative and this comes from a really deep-seated conviction on his part that we have to make fundamental change happen. The subsidy landscape is changing utterly. There are challenges with inflation and cost price inputs and also the need to get British farming to a net zero place. And so everything everybody does is going to have to change, utterly fundamentally. Farmers are innovative people themselves and they know exactly what the problems are. Very often if you have a problem, what an institute will come up with is a quarter of a million pound programme of research to address that problem. And very often the problems that we face on farm, they don't need a project of that sort. They need a group of farmers to get together, talk about it and trial some things on their farms. I think it's important that what we get is from ground up. We have so much imposed on us from above, everything from the inputs from the supply chain. Farmers are clever. They know what might work and what we want to do is bring that knowledge forward. The Innovative Farmers concept is fantastic because it's that farmer-led, farmer-driven concept. It gives farmers that opportunity to come forward with ideas that they can try out on their farm and also it gives the opportunity for other farmers, groups of farmers, to come together and work as a team. Prince of Wales Charitable Fund is very keen to fund programmes like Innovative Farmers which are multipliers because we can put a relatively small amount of money, we're not a massive charity, but hopefully that leverages other money, other people, other networks and we can shine a light on really great innovative programmes like this. This is organic piccolo which is a cherry variety. Some of this goes into Waitrose under the Dutchie brand. Our customers understand that when they buy a Dutchie product, some of the money that they give to us for that product goes into this research. So customers that really care about where their food comes from are having a direct impact on this really important change. The benefit of the field lab is we're able to learn off each other in real time. And that's really important because that does actually speed things up. If you're waiting for an academic to report, and then actually you do have to start experimenting a bit because every farm is different. It's really important for us as researchers to work with farmers. They know their farms intimately, they know their crops, so that we can come up with real solutions that are likely to be adopted rather than things that are a bit more far off and academic. I've probably been involved with field labs since the start of the programme. There's always something on my mind that I want to try and actually you can go to the guys and, and say, look, I've got this idea and they go, oh, well, so and so and so and so and so and so wants to try it, so let's do it. Yes, I can go out in the field and do some results, but when you can get a researcher along, they put a whole nother perspective to it, really, which is what me as a farmer can't bring. So it just brings us all together as one. I learn best from my own mistakes and things that go wrong, things that go right on my own farm and I suspect most farmers are the same. Being a part of something bigger and it introduces the scientific rigour that perhaps we don't have, it just makes total sense. Farmer-led research is so important because it takes so long to learn anything with farming. You've got so many variables and the more farmers who involve themselves in these field labs, the better because we can all learn from each other. If we look back across the whole 10 years, for all the field labs which we supported, if all those changes were adopted nationally, it would result in significant reduction in artificial inputs, as well as improving the outcome for nature. 
this isn't just for organic farmers and producers, this is across the whole spectrum. So the impact is exponentially larger than it could be. Nobody really knows across any sector what the answer is to get to net zero. So we're all going to need to be learning together. Farmers are identifying a whole range of different ways of responding to the climate and nature crisis. Things like using living mulches that allow them to reduce their reliance on artificial fertilisers. All these things are changes of mindset and it leads to changes of behaviour. The way that we're doing this now feels like proper open source research. So it's farmers learning from the way that things used to be done that actually probably in the last 50 years we've forgotten how effective those things were but combining that with real science to make a real impact on farm. One of the big outcomes of these projects may not be the trial result, it may be that group of farmers who have learned from each other and taking the learnings and even the failures of the trial and turn it into something that's much more positive and forward thinking. From a policymaker perspective, I would like to see a lot more focus and more importantly a lot more funding going into de-risking applied on farm research for farmers. It's critical. Farmers need better research on the kind of techniques and practices that they will need to adopt in order to transition to more agroecological farming and Innovative Farmers provides that platform to help them to test out these ideas. Farmer-led research speeds up innovation without question because it's immediate. So you can see something and immediately respond to that.